It's a fiddly job, but dentists insist that flossing is a great way to clean and protect your teeth. It's good for the gums too, and hopefully saves you having to visit the dentist too often. Originally, dental floss was made out of silk, but the stuff your local chemist stocks these days is a little less exotic. Modern floss is actually made out of plastic beads. Initially, they're fed into an enormous heating machine which melts them down. The liquefied plastic is squeezed out like toothpaste into long, thin strands. Dental floss is supposed to be unbreakable. To achieve this, the fresh floss is now stretched. As it passes around all the spools and switchbacks, it's pulled faster and faster, eventually reaching 120 kilometers an hour. This stretching makes the plastic molecules longer and stronger. Ideally, the result is super tough, unbreakable dental floss perfect for removing food from between your teeth. This factory alone produces 15 million meters, yes, that's 15 million meters of floss every single day. Once it's been adequately stretched, it's put onto these large bobbins. There's enough floss produced in this factory to help keep the whole of Britain free from painful gum disease, but research suggests nearly a quarter of us never floss at all. For those that do, the bobbins are now loaded up onto this enormous machine. The floss may be strong, but if it's headed for the nooks and crannies of people's mouths, it needs to be hygienic too. First, it's washed. This both cleans off any unwanted dirt and coats the floss with a layer of wax, which helps it pass between tightly packed teeth. Next, it's sprayed with peppermint powder, which acts as a mild disinfectant and, frankly, tastes better than plastic string. Then it's wound back onto the large bobbins, ready for the next stage of the production. Flossing is an important part of good oral hygiene, as the waxy string helps reach those parts your toothbrush just can't. Using high-tech cameras and test equipment, the staff at this factory continually analyze other products on the market to improve their own. This test footage shows how the toothbrush just can't reach the green line, which represents the gums. This would be bad for your teeth. The benefits of the floss mean they can reach below the gum line, which is vital. The tiny gaps between the teeth are also difficult to reach areas. It's these tricky places between teeth and gums where dental floss does its work, removing bits of food and bacteria that could lead to decay and gum disease. Back on the production line, hundreds of kilometers of freshly prepared dental floss are ready for packing. This machine is sorting the tiny spools that the floss will be wrapped around. Once they're in, the rollers get to work to spin 25 meters of floss onto each one. It needs to be a quick process, as there are many more kilometers of floss still to wrap. Next come the cases. Hundreds of freshly molded plastic boxes are placed in the assembly machine. This puts them the right way up, ready for packing. First, they receive an inner holder, and then workers on the production line insert a new roll of waxed floss. Once the case is closed, the floss is in for a bit of a shock. The cases are electrocuted.
Now, if you think this is a clever way to sterilize them, you'd be wrong. The electricity oxidizes the cases. This helps the layer of ink carrying the company logo to stick onto the plastic. So that's the unraveled tail of dental floss. The super thin, super strong plastic ribbon that helps prevent disease and decay.